At Race to Recovery, we are always looking for new ways to raise funds for our charity and awareness for our Dakar challenge. And for one of us, the sky's the limit. Royal Marine and aspiring team member Andy Grant is going to put himself out there for the team. I am just getting ready for the abseil, just putting my um, suit on. Then I'm going to make our way downstairs and then head up to the shard and, and crack the abseil. He's hoping to be the first amputee to abseil down Western Europe's tallest building. To someone looking in, everything does look like a challenge. You know, waking up in the morning, you can't just jump out of bed, you've got to put a leg on. If you wake up in the middle of the night and need the toilet, you've either got to put your leg on or hop to the toilet. But I don't think I've met a soldier yet who's been injured and looks at life as a hard challenge. You know, yeah, it wasn't nice getting blown up and I, when I lost my leg, it wasn't great, but, you know, to show the world, you know, everyone can still go and do all these amazing things and, and prove to the public that just because we have been injured, it's, it's not holding anyone back. As Andy prepares for the big drop, I've come along to give him support. It's really good to be able to come and see Andy in his what I'd consider to be his natural environment now, which tends to be scaring himself <laughs> and, uh, and doing amazing things. So uh, he's an incredibly inspirational bloke. You just have to chat to him and see him talk, and he's um, he, he's done some crazy stuff, and he uh, he fits in very very well with the team. Like me, Andy lost his leg in action in Afghanistan, and like me, he wants to show that's no barrier to accomplishing extraordinary things. But we also want the challenges that we've set ourselves to leave a wider legacy long-term support for our military wounded. Seemed like it would be perfect for us to set ourselves this sort of challenge. To give as many of our injured colleagues an opportunity to be part of the team and also to help raise money for the charities that look after our wounded. Yes, they, they signed up to do that job, but that doesn't mean that we don't try and help them for the rest of their lives in giving so much for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think being up there, I don't know, but being up there, I imagine, is quite terrifying. When you take that step off the uh, building, and that's exactly what we kind of want to have as an emotion after after our injuries. There you go. You're in control, Andy. It's unbelievable, isn't it? While Andy has his head in the clouds, the rest of the team are a bit more down to earth. Meanwhile, in London, I'm watching Andy Grant coming down from the heavens. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's 350 metres down, down the shard. It's just, there's nothing like it. It's the biggest building in Europe, so it's absolutely incredible to come and support him and give him a, give him a bit of a jeer along, even as he shoots past the window. <laughs> <laughs> <You're good. laughs> it's awesome. Hey, it's a bit slow, Andy. Can you do it again? How are you guys? I was trying to think of words so I can't describe it when I came down. So you're actually speechless. Yeah. Andy Grant is speechless. No, first time a scouser can't talk. <laughs> like I'm the only amputee, so it's just another another tick in the box to kind of show that you know soldiers and injured soldiers especially can can do anything you know no matter what's happened to them and, and probably the same excitement I had doing this. It's going to be again the same feelings of getting to the Dakar Valley. So yeah, onwards and upwards here and roll on January. Wow.